So it's been a minute since I've slept a few backyard bullies on the channel. So if you're a fan of Trash Panda and Skunk Dirt Naps, you're in for a treat with today's video. You know, raccoons, skunks, and the occasional naughty possum get their backyard bully moniker from the early days of where they just absolutely terrorize my dog, Viper. All it takes is one time for your dog to get skunked in your own damn backyard at 2 in the morning to make you want to send a 40 mic mic into their den, or better yet, quietly snipe from up on the rooftop. I got a massive skunk in this video, but things went real south for me on that one. More on what happened with that shot a little later in this video, but first, let's dive right in with this trash panda. This guy came in super early and the yard lights were still on. So I have the Nest security camera set up, which you're watching here. So they alert me to movement and then they automatically start to record. On this night, I had the Egg Unleshy 2 9mm with the ATN Excite 5 on top ready to go. So it really didn't take me that long to get down into the old sniper's hide while those uh, Temptation Kitty treats kept this guy distracted. Once I settled in, I gave him the old leshy kiss, though, and then just sent it. Oof. You can see that JSB Hades pellet just crushed the skull. And then it went right into that front somersault dirt nap with just a tiny little trash panda foot wiggle there at the end. You know, sometimes raccoons' nerves will uh, fire like crazy, and they spin and flop around for a minute, almost like a coyote. If you see them or if you're coyote hunting, you'll see them do that spinning, 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 spinning. Raccoons sometimes will do that same thing. Not this one, though. That 9 mil just absolutely anchored it. Just after I cleaned things up uh, and the lights went down, a first rat showed up, and I just rolled this dude. Uh, I have a little Steyr Pro X and 22 with the ATN Excite 4K set up on top for late night rats. It's crazy quiet and just dead nuts accurate on these tiny little guys. So with that first rat down, uh, I figured there would be another and uh, not too far behind. Uh, this guy crept up here and just a few moments later, his buddy came in to see what the, all the fuss was about. I smoked this one and then headed inside thinking that the night was all done. But there's something about that pop from that little styre that's like a dinner bell for the bullies. And sure enough, while I was putting stuff away, I must have just missed the alert. Uh, but the security cam caught this guy either looking for his buddy or a free meal. Uh, he took one little sniff of that dead rat, though, and he just dropped it and then eventually left. I eventually saw the alert and was able to get out there to catch this possum eating the rat the raccoon had dropped from the table for one above. I typically leave possums alone as they're uh, like my backyard janitor cleaning up dead rats like this or keeping uh, the yard pretty much tick free. Occasionally though, their population levels get too high and I need to thin the herd like this meathead. Two days later. A couple of days go by with no real action, and then this crew rolled in in the middle of the night. You know, I need these guys to come during normal business hours. That's probably why you've seen so many squirrel and chipper videos of late. Uh, I'm just getting too old for these bullies. So the doorbell rang as I was shooting, and it was the UPS guy dropping off a package from the ridge. And I immediately thought, hmm, I know those RFAD plates will prevent scumbags from stealing my credit cards but could it stop a nine mil out of my bully rig? Well, only one way to find out. Let's get a closer look at that thing. That just blew up. Dang, look at that. It stuck right in the outer RFID plate. And remember, this is the same setup that did this. And that's a pretty impressive wallet. Not only stops a 9 mil pellet with those RFID plates, but it carries up to 12 cards and then a strap or a money clip to hold cash on the back. I'm more of a money clip guy, but you can have your choice of either. So the Ridge isn't just about wallets. Uh, I've used their backpacks, luggage, and other EDC gear like this key case, which hides away up to six keys and keeps things nice and clean and jingle free in your pocket or your pack. 
So uh, I've carried their gear for years uh, and I cannot recommend it enough. So if you're in the market for a new wallet or other cool EDC gear like this, now is a great time as they are celebrating 11 years with their anniversary sale. You can save up to 30% by using my link, www.ridge.com forward slash eggunleshy. I'll drop that link in a pinned comment and the description as well. Thanks to the Ridge for sponsoring today's video and allowing me to shoot their gear. I mean, come on, that's pretty sweet. Now. Let's get back to the bullies. Weeks later. So a few weeks have gone by, and out of nowhere, that gang of bullies shows up again. I hadn't seen them for literally two or three weeks. So I scrambled to grab the 9 mil uh, and an extra couple of mags because this looked like it was going to be like backyard Rambo time. But by the time I got ready and I got out there, I saw something I didn't expect. Those guys had disappeared, but what was there was this giant skunk. And I've learned my lesson, though, before shooting skunks with larger calibers, that it is definitely not the best move. Now, that shot was perfect right in the vitals, as you can see here again. But the bigger calibers hit like a shovel. And with a skunk, you almost need to trick them into dying to prevent that awful spray from happening. So a slow 25 or even a 22 is the best like this shot here. Skunk spray when they're stressed or threatened. The 25 or 22 hits them and it just feels like a little pinch to the vitals. So you'll see them stop, kind of look around after getting hit, and then just go on their way for about, I don't know, five, six, maybe eight steps, and then they just collapse and they're dead. Uh, in these cases, I'd say 90% of the time they've done this with little or no spray. Now back to that original shot with the 9 mil. While this one didn't budge from where it landed, I knew I was in trouble. As you're going to see here, uh, this is where things go south. Oh shit, it just sprayed. Now that is the noise of true hell, a backyard nuke. At this point, there's really only one thing I can do. I gotta get this thing double bagged in those contractor bags ASAP to contain the smell, which meant I was going into the danger zone and with all those stupid masks no longer in the house, I had to mouth breathe my way through it. And here's how that played out. Two seconds later. What you're half listening to and half reading uh, is an absolute sulfur suffer fest. <laughs> While I dropped the skunk into the garbage can, there was nowhere for that sudden backdraft to go but up into my face. I felt like I had brushed my teeth with sulfur. It was brutal. And unfortunately for me, it wasn't over. At this point, I'm just trying to tie the damn bags, but since I had double bagged it, it wasn't like a quick twist to seal things off. I mean, I wasn't gonna lick my fingers to get a better grip on the bag, so I just had to just, oh, it was just terrible. Uh, so I was just trying to mouth breed my way through it, and then all hell broke loose right here. With puke now all over the place, I finally composed myself, sort of, uh, and got this thing double bagged. I then walked it down to a dumpster of a house of this, I hate this lady so much. Uh, that's a story for another day. Uh, but their house is under construction, so I threw it in her dumpster. Shh, don't tell. Given raccoons eat trash, I guess it's not surprising the two-day-old butt juice uh, at the base of the table for one acted like bait, drawing this backyard bully in for a sniff, and a few peanuts, and a side of lead.
actually pulled that shot a bit, but the forgiveness of the nine mil saved me as it went into that trash panda death spin. Uh, I was able to get one right behind the front leg there, uh, and then one last one for good measure, and it didn't budge. So that was it for this guy. We're going to wrap this video up with one more, and this absolute monster of a coon. Look at this thing fully stretched out, how big it is. Basically sitting up top. It's got his front paw sitting on the table for one and just munching on some peanuts. This is a monster. It heard me sit down as I bumped the table there on accident. Uh, and then it definitely saw the IR light as I began it shot back up kind of began to retreat a little bit i stopped it with the leshy kiss and then i sent it that just anchored but that went low and left again uh it wasn't until the next morning when i realized that it was on me and i test so many different types of ammo that i had forgotten to re-zero uh and move it to the hades profile on the atn so it's an easy fix and thankfully uh I wasn't using anything less than a 9mm or I would have been in a bad situation. But this guy just anchored anyway. So onward we go with a couple of rats and that slick Steyr Pro X, but this time with the ATN Thor 4 Thermal. If you like seeing backyard bully dirt naps, you're probably going to want to watch this video next. <laughs>